So the date is the 4th of July and we are in Tuscany on the Tuscan Umbrian border at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. With the frogs calling, don't you love it? And we're about 100 miles north of Rome, bang in the middle of Italy. And I'm trying to catch a hawk moth. I've been doing it in the UK for the last few weeks. The season, it is a set season, uh, about uh, May to uh, July or August. And I'm here trying to find some of the visitors that might get blown across to the UK later in the year. Now, tonight I have found the lime hawk moth, and I've uh, I found ten of them, which is uh, which is incredible. So they're not as rare as I had thought. In fact, they're the most common moth on my white sheet. These little guys actually seem to come in across the ground, bouncing across the grass until they finally reach the vapour lamp. This one has just flown in. You can see that because He's got his little wings flapping away. So this is what he looks like underneath. But he's quite happy. Let me put him on my finger. But right at the bottom, just a long hair. This raggedness here indicates that he is a lime hawk moth. Their colour can vary depending on where where they are, from orange to dark brown to green. And this one happens to be a bit of a, a light tan, which is common for this part of Italy. If I blow. There we go, there are his wings flexing and his little wings are covered in these tiny scales which are more like little hairs really and they use it sometimes as a bit of a defense mechanism if an owl or something catches him he'll uh, shake off a lot of those scales and that might confuse the predator then again it might not I wanted to take the opportunity to show you the difference between a brand new specimen which is here and one that's been around for a few days and you can see that its wings really are pretty battered and where it's ragged along the edges that's that's possibly where a bird has had it you can just see his eye in there. So limehawk moths don't feed and they don't even have mouth parts. There's really feathery antennae fantastic for smelling the pheromones from the female moths. So as the dawn chorus begins I can hear woodpeckers and all sorts of things giving it their early morning chat. I'm gonna pack up and go home. I'm gonna turn off my vapor lamp and give the moths a chance to get into some cover before uh, before it gets really light otherwise they'll get finished off by the birds we don't want that to happen but we've had an incredibly successful evening <laughs>